California Driving Test 2024 DMV Practice Test 1. Which sign on a truck means that the truck's load is potentially dangerous? A. Octagonal B. Diamond-shaped C. Rectangular white The answer is B. Diamond-shaped 2. What type of sign is this? A. Stop B. Slow moving vehicle C. Yield The answer is C. Yield. 3. What does this sign mean? A. You are approaching an airport. B. Airplanes fly in this direction. C. Airplanes fly at low altitude in this area. The answer is A. You are approaching an airport. 4. When you want to enter a freeway, you should. A. Stop before merging into freeway traffic. B. Stop and yield to the traffic on the freeway. C. Enter the freeway at or near the speed of freeway traffic. The answer is C. Enter the freeway at or near the speed of freeway traffic. 5. Which of the following signs represents two-way traffic? The answer is C. 6. What does this regulatory sign mean? A. Left turn. B. Road ends. C. No U-turn. The answer is C. No U-turn. 7. This warning sign represents A. The start of a two-way road B. The end of a divided highway C. The start of a divided highway The answer is B. The end of a divided highway 8. A traffic signal with a flashing yellow arrow means that you should a. Yield and then proceed with caution. B. Proceed with caution but turns are not permitted in the direction of the arrow. C. Stop and be prepared to obey the next signal. The answer is a yield and then proceed with caution. 9. If all the rear seats are already occupied by children under 7 years of age, a child under 8 years of age may A. Ride in the front seat without a seat belt B. Ride in the front seat if properly secured in a federally approved child passenger restraint system C. Sit on the lap of an elder child, with a seat belt fastened to both The answer is B. Ride in the front seat if properly secured in a federally approved child passenger restraint system. 10. Any person who willfully flees or attempts to evade law enforcement performing their duties is guilty of a misdemeanor punishable by A. Up to one year of imprisonment in a county jail. B. A maximum fine of up to $1,000. C. Neither of the above. The answer is A. Up to one year of imprisonment in a county jail. 11. A driver who is involved in a significant collision must report it to the DMV within A. 15 days. B. 10 days. 
c. 20 days. The answer is B. 10 days. 12. When you see livestock near the roadway, you should A. Blow your horn continuously until the animals cross the road. B. Follow directions from the person in charge of the animals. C. Turn safely away from these animals. The answer is B. Follow directions from the person in charge of the animals. Thirteen. When you approach an intersection with a through road but without stop signs or yield signs, you must A. Accelerate to merge with traffic B. Make a sharp turn to match the speed of the traffic on the through road C. Yield to traffic and pedestrians on the through road The answer is C. Yield to traffic and pedestrians on the through road 14. If your parked car rolls away and hits another unattended vehicle, you should A. Sound your horn to attract attention B. Remove your car and go on your way C. Report the incident to the police The answer is C. Report the incident to the police 15. At 55 miles per hour, under good conditions, a passenger vehicle can stop within a. 300 feet B. 200 feet C. 400 feet The answer is at 300 feet. 16. What is the first thing you should do during an enforcement stop? A. Stop on the center median B. Stop on the left shoulder C. Turn on your right turn signal. The answer is C. Turn on your right turn signal. 17. When must you turn on your headlights after sunset? A. 30 minutes. B. Immediately. C. 20 minutes. The answer is A. 30 minutes. 18. This sign represents A. A pedestrian crosswalk B. A playground C. A school zone The answer is C. A school zone 19. Two sets of solid double yellow lines spaced two or more feet apart indicate a. Two-way traffic. B. A parking lot. C. A barrier. The answer is C. A barrier. 20. At an unmarked crosswalk, you must A. Stop and ask the pedestrians to cross quickly. B. Increase your speed and cross before the pedestrians. C. Yield the right of way to the pedestrians. The answer is C. Yield the right of way to the pedestrians. 21. On a two-lane undivided highway, what is the maximum speed limit for vehicles towing trailers unless otherwise posted? A. 60 miles per hour. B. 55 miles per hour, C. 65 miles per hour. The answer is B. 55 miles per hour. 22. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, you should A. Press your gas pedal, B. Apply the brakes, C. Slow down gradually. The answer is C. Slow down gradually. 23. Which of the following statements about lane markings is true? A. 
A double solid line between opposing lanes of traffic means that vehicles on either side can pass. B. A broken yellow line between opposing lanes of traffic means that you may not cross the line. C. A solid white line between lanes of traffic means that you should stay in your lane unless a special situation requires you to change lanes. The answer is C. A solid white line between lanes of traffic means that you should stay in your lane unless a special situation requires you to change lanes. 24. The broken white lines on the pavement mean that A. Traffic moves in opposite directions. B. No passing is allowed. C. Passing is allowed if done safely. The answer is C. Passing is allowed if done safely. 25. To avoid tailgating, one should follow the A. Two-second rule. B. Three-second rule. C. Four-second rule. The answer is B. Three-second rule. 26. If you are having vehicle trouble and you need to stop, what is the first thing you should do? A. Pull off the road and away from traffic. B. Lift the hood to signal an emergency. C. Stop your vehicle over a hill or just around a curve for visibility. The answer is A. Pull off the road and away from traffic. 27. What color of the curb is designated for disabled persons who display their placards? A. Blue. B. White. C. Green. The answer is A. Blue. 28. A steady red arrow signal means? A. You must stop and you cannot turn in the direction of the arrow. B. You should prepare to stop and yield to oncoming traffic before turning. C. You must stop and then proceed when it is safe to do so. The answer is A. You must stop and you cannot turn in the direction of the arrow. 29. Special turnout areas marked on a two-lane road. A. Allow vehicles to make left turns. B. Allow vehicles to pass. C. Allow vehicles to make U-turns. The answer is B. Allow vehicles to pass. 30. Locked wheel skids are usually caused by A. Turning the ignition to the lock position while the vehicle is still in motion. B. Braking too hard at a high speed. C. Pressing the gas and brake pedals at the same time. The answer is B. Braking too hard at a high speed. 31. In a roundabout, you must drive in A. A clockwise direction. B. The direction of the oncoming vehicles. C. A counterclockwise direction. The answer is C. A counterclockwise direction. 32. What does this warning sign mean? A. There is a stop sign ahead. B. Slow moving vehicles should move as directed. C. Slow moving vehicles should not move as directed. The answer is A. There is a stop sign ahead. 33. This sign warns you about A. A two-way road. B. A winding road. C. A slippery road. The answer is B. A winding road. 34. If you are in an intersection when you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle, you should A. Continue through the intersection, then move to the left and stop. B. Continue through the intersection, then move to the right and stop. C. Move to the right and stop in the intersection. The answer is B. Continue through the intersection, then move to the right and stop. 35. While driving in fog, you should use your A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Emergency flashers. 
The answer is a low beam headlights. 36. If you are ready to turn right at an intersection, and if there is a bicycle next to you on your right, who has the right of way when the light turns green? A. U. B. Whoever starts moving first. C. The bicycle. The answer is C. The bicycle. 37. When two vehicles meet on a steep mountain road where neither can pass, which vehicle has the right of way? A. The vehicle traveling uphill. B. The vehicle traveling downhill. C. Both vehicles. The answer is A. The vehicle traveling uphill. 38. A double solid white line? A. Separates opposing lanes, and crossing the line is prohibited. B. Separates two lanes traveling in the same direction, and crossing the line is permitted. C. Separates two lanes traveling in the same direction, but crossing the line is prohibited. The answer is C. Separates two lanes traveling in the same direction, but crossing the line is prohibited. 39. A driver in front of you is signaling with his or her hand and arm pointing upward. This driver wants to A. Stop B. Turn right C. Turn left The answer is B. Turn right 40. You can make a left turn on a red light? A. Only from a one-way street onto a two-way street B. Only from a one-way street onto another one-way street C. Only from a two-way street onto another two-way street The answer is B. Only from a one-way street onto another one-way street. 41. In California, are you allowed to leave a child six years old or younger in a vehicle? A. Yes, but only if the windows are slightly open. B. Yes, but only if supervised by someone who is at least 12 years old. C. No, never. The answer is B. Yes, but only if supervised by someone who is at least 12 years old. 42. If you are convicted of leaving a child aged 6 or younger alone in a car under conditions that might endanger his or her health or safety, you will be fined. A. $100. B. $1,000. C. $500. The answer is a $100. 43. It is illegal to park within how many feet of a sidewalk ramp for disabled people? A. 3 feet B. 5 feet C. 3.5 feet. The answer is A. 3 feet. 44. Can you take medications before planning to drive? A. Only if you have a prescription. B. Only if the doctor says it won't affect safe driving. C. No D. Only over-the-counter ones. The answer is B. Only if the doctor says it won't affect safe driving. 45. What should you do if you feel drowsy before you drive? A. Drink coffee. B. Listen to music. C. Exercise. D. Sleep. The answer is D. Sleep. 46. How can fatigue affect your driving? A. Decreased awareness. B. Impaired judgment. C. Slower reaction times. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. 47. Which drugs can affect your ability to safely operate a vehicle? A. Prescription drugs. B. Illegal drugs. C. Over-the-counter drugs. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. 48. Things that can distract you from the road include? A. Checking the traffic behind you frequently. B. Checking blind spots. C. Always checking mirrors. D. 
text messaging and talking on the phone? The answer is D. Text messaging and talking on the phone. 49. When a driver's blood alcohol concentration, BAC, rises, which of the following happens? A. The drinker's brain is increasingly affected by the alcohol. B. Self-control and judgment are the first processes affected. C. Coordination and muscle control are affected by the alcohol. D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. 50. Drinking alcohol and driving at night is especially dangerous because A. Alcohol affects your judgment at night more. B. Your vision is already restricted. C. You are more likely to encounter drivers who have been drinking. D. Roads are busier at night. The answer is B. Your vision is already restricted. 51. Which of the following contains more alcohol? A. A 5 ounces glass of 12% wine. B. A 1.5 ounces shot of 80 proof liquor. C. They're all the same. D. A 12 ounces glass of 5% beer. The answer is C. They're all the same. 52. Alcohol can affect your? A concentration b judgment c reaction time d all of the above answers are correct the answer is d all of the above answers are correct 53 how many standard servings of alcohol can safely be consumed by an adult before driving a 3 b it varies from person to person c 2 d 1 The answer is B. It varies from person to person. 54. What type of sign is this? A. A one-way sign. B. A do not enter sign. C. A stop sign. D. A yield sign. The answer is C. A stop sign. 55. What does this image indicate? A. An accident situation due to reduced following distance. B. A broken white line that prohibits passing. C. A broken white line that allows passing. D. A car making a U-turn. The answer is C. A broken white line that allows passing. 56. What does this sign mean? A. Stop for pedestrians. B. Pedestrians ahead, no entry for vehicles. C. Pedestrians must not cross. D. Use extreme caution and slow down. The answer is C. Pedestrians must not cross. 57. This traffic sign indicates. A. A roundabout ahead. B. A stop sign ahead. C. A yield sign ahead. D. A traffic signal ahead. The answer is C. A yield sign ahead. 58. What does this image indicate? A. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. B. Passing is allowed only in the daytime. C. Passing on the left is prohibited. D. Passing is not allowed in either direction. The answer is A. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. 59. This sign indicates A. A hospital zone. B. Wheelchair availability. C. A handicapped parking zone. D. A pedestrian crosswalk. The answer is C. A handicapped parking zone. 60. What do these yellow pavement markings mean? A. This is a one-way road. B. Vehicles traveling in either direction can make right turns. C. This is a three-way road. D. Vehicles traveling in either direction can make left turns. The answer is D. Vehicles traveling in either direction can make left turns. 61. This sign and pavement markings allow. A. 
vehicles from either direction to pass. B. Vehicles from either direction to make a left turn. C. Vehicles from either direction to make a right turn. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Vehicles from either direction to make a left turn. 62. This sign may be used to A. Warn drivers of a one-way roadway ahead. B. Inform drivers of a school zone. C. Require drivers to make a U-turn. D. Guide drivers into certain traffic lanes. The answer is D. Guide drivers into certain traffic lanes. 63. If you see this sign, it means you are A. On an expressway. B. Driving the wrong way. C. In the wrong lane. D. In a city. The answer is B. Driving the wrong way. 64. This sign warns drivers that they A. Should increase their following distance to 6 seconds. B. Should move onto the shoulder at high speed. C. Should not leave the pavement. D. Must move onto the shoulder at reduced speed. The answer is C. Should not leave the pavement. 65. What does this sign indicate? A. Left turns are allowed when the steady green signal is lit and there are no oncoming vehicles. B. Left turns are allowed when the green arrow is on. C. Left turns are allowed only when the steady green signal is not lit. D. Left turns are not allowed when the green arrow goes out. The answer is A. Left turns are allowed when the steady green signal is lit and there are no oncoming vehicles. 66. You have reached an intersection at which this sign is posted. When are you allowed to turn right here? A. When you have a green light or green arrow B. After you come to a full stop and then yield to pedestrians and other vehicles C. When no other vehicles are approaching D. Never. The answer is A. When you have a green light or green arrow. 67. What does this sign mean? A. There is a 35 degree curve ahead. B. The recommended speed for this curve is 35 miles per hour. C. The maximum speed for this curve is 35 miles per hour. The answer is B. The recommended speed for this curve is 35 miles per hour. 68. Two cars arrive at an intersection at the same time. Which of the following is true? A. Car A must yield because it is to the left of car B. B. Car B must yield because it is traveling straight through the intersection. C. Car B must yield because it is on car A's right. The answer is A. Car A must yield because it is to the left of car B. 69. What does this sign mean? A. The speed limit during the day is 50 miles per hour. B. The recommended speed limit is 50 miles per hour. C. The speed limit is 50 miles per hour. The answer is C. The speed limit is 50 miles per hour. 70. You drive up to an intersection and you see this sign. What should you do? A. Come to a complete stop and yield to any traffic before proceeding. B. Come to a complete stop and then go. C. Slow down and only proceed if the intersection is clear. The answer is A. Come to a complete stop and yield to any traffic before proceeding. 71. Which line indicates the outer edge of a roadway? And it may be crossed only by traffic moving to or from the shoulder. A. Broken white line. B. Solid white line. C. Solid yellow line. The answer is B. Solid white line. 72. When you turn left from a one-way street onto another one-way street, you should turn into A. Any safely open lane. B. The far right lane. C. 
the far left lane? The answer is A. Any safely open lane. 73. This warning sign means A. The road ahead curves to the right. B. Sharp right and left turns are ahead. C. The road ahead curves to the right and then to the left. D. A winding road. The answer is C. The road ahead curves to the right and then to the left. 74. Can you pass another vehicle when approaching a curve or a hill? A. No, never. B. Yes, but only if there is enough space. C. Yes, but you may only pass on the right. The answer is B. Yes, but only if there is enough space. 75. If you are found guilty of driving without wearing a seatbelt, how much will you be fined up to if this was your first offense? A. $50. B. $100. C. $20. The answer is C. $20. 76. Within how many feet you must not follow any emergency vehicle with a siren or flashing lights? A. 300 feet. B. 200 feet. C. 100 feet. The answer is A. 300 feet. 77. In which of the following places is a U-turn permitted? A. On a one-way street. B. Across a double yellow line. C. On a railroad crossing. The answer is B. Across a double yellow line. 78. On one-way roads, yellow lines are used as A. Left edge lines. B. Right edge lines. C. Center lines. The answer is A. Left edge lines. 79. If you are convicted of seriously injuring someone while attempting to evade a law enforcement pursuit, you may be fined at least A. $3,000 B. $2,000 C. $4,000 The answer is B. $2,000 80. Which of these pavement markings separates two lanes traveling in the same direction? B, C, A, none of the above. The answer is none of the above. 81. If you are convicted of reckless driving that resulted in injury to someone, you may A. Lose your license for life. B. Attend an interview at the DMV. C be sent to jail and or pay a hefty fine? The answer is C. Be sent to jail and or pay a hefty fine. 82. In California, when are you allowed to drive to the left of two solid yellow lines? A. Never. B. When you are passing another vehicle. C. When you are in a carpool, HOV lane with a designated entrance on the left. The answer is C. When you are in a carpool, HOV lane with a designated entrance on the left. 83. You should cut your speed in half when the road is. A. Packed with snow. B. Icy. C. Wet. The answer is A. Packed with snow. 84. When you turn off a high-speed, two-lane roadway, what should you do if you have traffic following you? A. Try not to slow down your vehicle too quickly. B. Try to increase the speed of your vehicle. C. Try to slow down your vehicle quickly. The answer is A. Try not to slow down your vehicle too quickly. 85. If a tire suddenly goes flat while you're driving, you should A. Increase your speed. B. 
Hold the steering wheel tightly and keep the vehicle straight. C. Move to the left side of the road. The answer is B. Hold the steering wheel tightly and keep the vehicle straight. 86. Following too closely behind another vehicle is called A. Aggressive driving B. Tailgating C. Defensive driving The answer is B. Tailgating 87. Which of the following statements about passing other vehicles is true? A. Always signal before passing. B. Do not pull out to pass unless you know you will have enough space to pull back into your lane. C. Both of the above are true. The answer is C. Both of the above are true. 88. Pedestrians crossing at corners have the right of way. A. Only when a crosswalk is painted on the street. B. Whether or not a crosswalk is marked. C. Only at open intersections. The answer is B. Whether or not a crosswalk is marked. 89. Lanes of traffic going in opposite directions are divided by A. Black lines. B. Yellow lines. C. White lines. The answer is B. Yellow lines. 90. All regulatory devices on the road tell you. A. About hazardous conditions or the possibility of hazardous conditions. B. How to find your way safely or provide information to make your trip more comfortable. C. To stop proceed in a certain direction, or limit your speed? The answer is C to stop, proceed in a certain direction, or limit your speed. 91. If a car approaches you with its high beam headlights on, what must you do to keep yourself from being temporarily blinded? A. Look at the center of the road. B. Look toward the left edge of the road. C. Look toward the right edge of the road. The answer is C. Look toward the right edge of the road. 92. What is the first rule of a safe and legal turn? A. Reduce speed. B. Move into the proper lane well before the turn. C. Increase speed. The answer is B. Move into the proper lane well before the turn. 93. At an intersection, you should yield to another vehicle? A. If the vehicle is to your right and arrived at the same time as you. B. If the vehicle is just starting to enter the intersection. C. In both of the above situations. The answer is C in both of the above situations. 94. When parking on a public road, you must park parallel to and within how many inches of the curb or edge of the roadway? A. 20. B. 18. C. 21. The answer is B. 18. 95. What should you do if you are overtaking a bicycle and an oncoming vehicle is approaching at the same time? A. Leave a little room for the oncoming vehicle while overtaking the bicycle. B. Slow down and let the oncoming vehicle pass first to leave extra room for the bicycle. C. Overtake the bicycle first to leave extra room for the oncoming vehicle. The answer is B. Slow down and let the oncoming vehicle pass first to leave extra room for the bicycle. 96. Which of the following statements about using headlights is false? A. High beams are used when traveling behind other vehicles. B. Low beams are used when traveling in fog, rain, or snow. C. Low beams are used in city driving and driving in traffic on roadways. The answer is A. 
High beams are used when traveling behind other vehicles. 97. You must use your high beam headlights in all of the following situations, except A. In fog, snow, or heavy rain. B. In construction areas. C. On unfamiliar roads. The answer is A in fog, snow, or heavy rain. 98. When you park and leave your vehicle on a highway or street, you should not A. Stop the engine B. Set the parking brake C. Lower the windows The answer is C. Lower the windows 99. A center lane between lanes of traffic traveling in opposite directions may be designated for A. Left turns only B. Right turns only C. Passing The answer is A. Left turns only 100. On a highway with three or more lanes going in one direction, vehicles passing others or turning left should use A. The middle lane B. The right lane C. The left lane the answer is C. The left lane. 101. When turning left from a multi-lane one-way road onto another one-way road, start your turn from A. The far right lane. B. The far left lane. C. Any lane. The answer is B. The far left lane. 102. A yield sign indicates that a driver must slow down and be prepared to do what if a vehicle or pedestrian with the right of way is approaching from another direction. A. Make a turn. B. Stop. C. Increase speed. The answer is B. Stop. 103. In California, the speed limit for a blind intersection is A. 25 miles per hour b 20 miles per hour c 15 miles per hour the answer is c 15 miles per hour 104 you are driving on the freeway and notice another driver using a handheld cell phone what is the best thing to do a honk your horn and wave to the driver to get off the phone b Alert the police immediately. C. Increase your following distance. The answer is C. Increase your following distance. 105. Which of these signs indicates a hospital ahead? D A C B. The answer is B. 106. What color of the cane that blind pedestrians may carry or use guide dogs? A. Red B. Black C. White, the answer is C. White. 107. It is unsafe for you to pass when A. The pavement markings are broken yellow lines. B. You are moving through an intersection. C. The vehicle ahead is traveling slower than the safe speed. The answer is B. You are moving through an intersection. 108. Before backing up your vehicle, you should look to the front, sides, and rear, and continue to look where while backing. A. In the side mirrors. B. To the rear. C. To the front. The answer is B to the rear. 109. Before reaching the crest of a hill or entering a curve, what should you do? And watch for oncoming vehicles. A. Slow down. Move to the left side of the road. B. Speed up, turn on the headlights. C. Slow down, move to the right side of the road. The answer is C. Slow down, move to the right side of the road. 110. If you plan to turn beyond an intersection, you must. A. Start signaling when you are in the intersection. B. 
Signal before passing through the intersection. C. Signal just before making the turn. The answer is A. Start signaling when you are in the intersection. 111. When you approach a roundabout, which direction you must enter to the central island? A. Left. B. Right. C. Center. The answer is B. Right. 112. Where are the most likely places for car and motorcycle collisions to occur? A. Roundabouts. B. Expressways. C. Intersections. The answer is C. Intersections. 113. What does this sign mean? A. Turn left or go straight. B. Go straight. C. Merge left. The answer is A. Turn left or go straight. 114. When you see a NEV route sign, you should watch out for A. A Nevada law enforcement officer. B. Slow moving vehicles in the roadway. C. Animal drawn vehicles. The answer is B. Slow moving vehicles in the roadway. 115. Your vehicle breaks down on a freeway. You are not able to move the vehicle off the road completely as the road shoulder is too narrow. What is the best thing to do? A. Exit on the right side of your vehicle and proceed to a safe place. B. Leave the vehicle immediately and wave at drivers to let them know you are blocking the lane. C. Stay inside your vehicle with the seat belt on until help arrives. The answer is A. Exit on the right side of your vehicle and proceed to a safe place. 116. When you turn left from a one-way street onto another one-way street, you should turn into A. The far right lane. B. The far left lane. C. Any safely open lane. The answer is C. Any safely open lane. 117. High Occupancy Vehicle, HOV, lanes are reserved for A. Tractor trailers with less than three persons. B. Car pools and vehicles with more than one person. C. Farm machinery vehicles and trucks. The answer is B. Car pools and vehicles with more than one person. 118. What should you do if another driver tailgates your vehicle? A. Do not allow the tailgater to pass you. B. Change lanes to allow the tailgater to pass. C. Increase your speed to get away from the tailgater. The answer is B. Change lanes to allow the tailgater to pass. 119. If you are approaching a stop sign, you must. A. Stop at the solid white limit line. B. Stop at the broken white limit line. C. Stop at the broken yellow limit line. The answer is A. Stop at the solid white limit line. 120. The wide white line painted across a traffic lane before an intersection is known as a limit line. A. Crosswalk line. B. Merge line. C. Bicycle line. The answer is A. 121. When should you switch on your high beam headlights? A. All night. B. At night when it rains. C. When driving in open country at night or on dark city streets. The answer is C. When driving in open country at night or on dark city streets. 122. Two. What does this sign mean? A. A pedestrian crosswalk is ahead. Vehicles must yield. B. A crew is at work. Vehicles must slow down. C. A flag person is ahead. Vehicles must go slow.
The answer is A. A pedestrian crosswalk is ahead. Vehicles must yield. 123. You are driving slowly on a two-lane road. If there are at least how many vehicles behind you that are unable to pass you, you must pull over and allow them to pass. A. 5. B. 3. C. 4. The answer is A. 5 vehicles. 1. 2. 4. When you see an emergency vehicle with its lights flashing on the wrong side of the road, giving instructions through the loudspeaker, you should a obey the instructions b stop immediately on the spot c proceed slowly the answer is a obey the instructions 125 what occurs on wet roads when your front tires start to ride on water instead of on the road a hydroplaning b weaving c tailgating the answer is a hydroplaning one two six a triangular orange sign on the rear of a vehicle indicates that a the vehicle can travel faster than 25 miles per hour b the vehicle cannot travel faster than 25 miles per hour c the vehicle cannot travel faster than 45 miles per hour. The answer is B. The vehicle cannot travel faster than 25 miles per hour. 127. Car drivers should never A. Move to one side of your lane to give motorcyclists more room to pass. B. Give a motorcycle the full lane. C. Pass a motorcycle in the same lane. The answer is C. Pass a motorcycle in the same lane. 128. On two-lane highways, you are allowed to pass, A. When you are approaching the top of a hill or are on a curve, and there is no clear view ahead, B. When there is a broken yellow line on your side of the center dividing line, C while crossing or within 100 feet of a railroad crossing the answer is b when there is a broken yellow line on your side of the center dividing line one two nine with any turning vehicle what distance does the rear wheels follow than the front wheels a longer path b shorter path c slower path the answer is B. Shorter path. 130. If you approach an intersection with a steady yellow light, you must A. Stop, look for pedestrians, and proceed with caution. B. Slow down and proceed with caution, if you cannot stop safely. C. Stop and wait for the red light. The answer is B. Slow down and proceed with caution, if you cannot stop safely. 131. What is the correct hand signal for indicating a right turn? A. Hand and arm extended downward. B. Hand and arm extended outward. C. Hand and arm extended upward. The answer is C. Hand and arm extended upward. 132. What line indicates the outer edge of a roadway, and it may be crossed only by traffic moving to or from the shoulder? A. Solid yellow line. B. Solid white line. C. Broken white line. The answer is B. Solid white line. 133. If a driver extends his or her left arm out horizontally, it indicates that the driver is going to A. Stop the vehicle B. Make a right turn C. Make a left turn The answer is C. Make a left turn 134. What does this road sign indicate? A. A slippery road ahead B. Trucks turning ahead. 
C. A steep downgrade ahead. The answer is C. A steep downgrade ahead. 135. Which of the following right-of-way rules is false? A. At all times, drivers must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians in a marked or unmarked crosswalk. B. At an intersection where there is no stop sign, yield sign, or traffic signal, drivers must yield to vehicles coming from the left. C. You must obey signals given by a law enforcement officer, even if the officer's signals contradict the traffic signals. The answer is B. At an intersection where there is no stop sign, yield sign, or traffic signal, drivers must yield to vehicles coming from the left. 136. On one-way roads, yellow lines are used as A. Center lines, B. Left edge lines, C. Right edge lines. The answer is B. Left edge lines. 137. Which of the following statements about the right-of-way is false? A. Vehicles entering or crossing a roadway from a private driveway must yield to all approaching vehicles. B. At a T intersection without signs or signals, a vehicle on the through road must yield to vehicles on the terminating road. C. Vehicles must yield to pedestrians in unmarked crosswalks. The answer is B. At a T intersection without signs or signals, a vehicle on the through road must yield to vehicles on the terminating road. 138. This sign warns that, A. There is a gravel road with sharp curves ahead. Drivers must proceed carefully. B. The road is slippery when wet. Drivers must go slow. C. A winding road is ahead. Drivers should follow the directions. The answer is B. The road is slippery when wet. Drivers must go slow. 139. When turning right into a two-way street, start in the right-hand lane and enter into A. The far left lane, B. The lane nearest to the right edge of the road, C. Any available lane. The answer is B. The lane nearest to the right edge of the road. 140. The primary traveling aids for a blind person include A. A red cane and a trained guide dog. B. A white cane and a wheelchair. C. A white cane and a trained guide dog. The answer is C. A white cane and a trained guide dog. 141. Flashing yellow lights on a school bus require other drivers to A. Slow their vehicles and prepare to stop B. Slow their vehicles and pass with caution C. Pass quickly The answer is A. Slow their vehicles and prepare to stop 142. What does this flashing arrow panel mean? A. Part of the roadway ahead is closed. B. The roadway ahead curves to the left. C. The roadway ahead is open to traffic. The answer is A. Part of the roadway ahead is closed. 143. Which of the following are used as left edge lines on divided highways? A. Double solid white lines B. Single solid yellow lines C. Single solid white lines. The answer is B. Single solid yellow lines. 144. If you see two solid yellow lines on a roadway, it means that A. Passing is permitted at any time. B. Passing is permitted during the day. C. No passing is permitted. The answer is C. No passing is permitted. 145. If you are parallel parked on the right-hand side of the street, what should you do before pulling out into traffic? A. 
Signal a left turn and look over your right shoulder, B. Signal a left turn and look over your left shoulder, C. Signal a right turn and look over your right shoulder. The answer is B. Signal a left turn and look over your left shoulder. 146. Flag persons are often located on highways and in work zones, A. To stop, slow, or guide the traffic in work zones, B. To report accidents to the police department and insurance companies, C. To slow vehicles to a lower speed limit posted ahead. The answer is A to stop, slow, or guide the traffic in work zones. 147. On a two-way roadway with a center lane, what can a drivers from either direction do from the center lane? A. Make left turns and U-turns. B. Park. C. Make right turns. The answer is A. Make left turns and U-turns. 148. This hand signal indicates that, A. The driver is making a left turn. B. The driver is making a right turn. C. The driver is slowing or stopping. The answer is C. The driver is slowing or stopping. 149. At an intersection, a steady yellow arrow signal pointing left indicates to the driver that A. He or she must increase speed. B. Oncoming traffic is stopped and he or she may turn left. C. The signal is about to change to a green or red light or a red arrow. The answer is C. The signal is about to change to a green or red light or a red arrow. 150. The octagonal shape in the figure is A. A do not enter sign. B. A stop sign. C. A yield sign. The answer is B. A stop sign. 151. When do not use your horn? A. To honk at a blind person. B. When you want the driver in front of you to move out of the way. C. In any of the above situations. The answer is C in any of the above situations. 152. If a pedestrian is in a marked or unmarked crosswalk, you must. A. Increase your speed and cross the crosswalk quickly. B. Reduce your speed and proceed with caution. C. Yield to the pedestrian. The answer is C. Yield to the pedestrian. 153. When approaching an intersection to make a right turn, where you must stay and make the turn close to the right curb. A. As close to the left as possible. B. On the shoulder. C. As close to the right as possible. The answer is C. As close to the right as possible. 154. What is the connection of a freeway to a road or another freeway by a series of ramps? A. Exit ramp. B. Interchange. C. Acceleration lane. The answer is B. Interchange. 154. Which of the following statements about passing a vehicle is false? A. You can exceed the speed limit to pass quickly. B. Do not pass more than one vehicle at a time. C. Do not follow another vehicle that is passing a car in front of you. The answer is A. You can exceed the speed limit to pass quickly. 155. Vehicles approaching a roundabout must A. Enter the roundabout to the left of the central island. B. Come to a complete stop and wait for traffic in the roundabout to clear. C. Yield to the traffic in the roundabout. The answer is C. Yield to the traffic in the roundabout. 
156. On two lane roads where traffic moves in opposite directions, you may pass on the left only when a. A double solid yellow line is in the center, b. A solid yellow line is in your lane, c. A broken yellow line is in your lane. The answer is C. A broken yellow line is in your lane. 157. The traffic light is green and you want to drive straight through an intersection. If a car is already in the intersection and is making a turn, you must A. Enter the intersection and then stop. B. Drive through the intersection. You have the right of way. C. Let that car complete its turn before you enter the intersection. The answer is C. Let that car complete its turn before you enter the intersection. 158. You may pass a stopped light rail vehicle on the left side, A. On one-way streets, B. If the tracks are so close to the right side that you cannot pass on the right, C. In both of the above situations, the answer is C in both of the above situations. 159. If temperatures are near freezing, which freezes first? A. Roads. B. Both roads and bridges at the same time. C. Bridges. The answer is C. Bridges. 160. What do pennant-shaped signs indicate? A. A school crossing. B. A no-passing zone. C. Yield. The answer is B. A no-passing zone. 161. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in a business district is A. 35 miles per hour. B. 30 miles per hour. C. 25 miles per hour. The answer is C. 25 miles per hour. 162. You are approaching a green traffic light, but traffic is blocking the intersection. What is the best thing to do? A. Partially enter the intersection to establish your right of way. B. Continue into the intersection and wait for traffic to clear. C. Don't enter the intersection until you can get completely across. The answer is C. Don't enter the intersection until you can get completely across.